namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa homish to the verse one who is without defilement and perfectly self enlightened homish to him the worthy one without defilements the fully self enlightened one homage to the worthy one i mean the blessed one the exalted one the fully enlightened one welcome back again Greetings everyone. We bless you. Thank you last. My name is Supasin Diasilo. Venerable Supasin Diasilo. I repeat. As a monk. As a monk. I should give you. Some Dharma. the right path of your life leading to heaven <clears throat> back on track in the last episode the Pali words of the last two chapters for the Mangala Sutra is Asevana Jabalanam means never associate with the fools and panditananja sevana associate with the wise and we are going to continue to the next chapter <clears throat> honor the honorables pujaja pujaniyanam honor the honorables i would like to answer you one question who do you think is honorable? Whom do you think? You should honorable. <clears throat> I mean, you should honor too. Whom do you think you should honor too? Give me answer in the comment section below. <clears throat> Let's, let me answer this. <clears throat> In Buddhism, the honorables are one, the Lord Buddha. The Lord Buddha the best religion founder in the world. We revere him the highest one among the triple gems buddha ratana dhamma ratana sangha ratana the lord buddha himself was self enlightened during his lifetime the lord buddha himself destroyed all the defilement in his mind no loba greed no dosa anger 
no mauha foolishness foolishness the lord buddha himself lay have has led us to right foot path namely his dharma will lead us out of all kinds of suffering if you follow them for i mean do the dharmas carefully and correctly the lord buddha himself is full was full of dharma dharma guna <clears throat> i mean panya guna visuddhi guna and mahagaruna di guna there's a, there's a reference of the lord buddha stated like this in pali iti piso pakwa arham samma sambuddho vicca charana sambanno sukato loka vitu anutaro purisathammasardhi satha deva manusanam putdo bhagwati like this and the next one among this is the among the triple gem is the nama is the lord buddha's dharma leads us to the right foot path the heaven being out of suffering and not only that and eventually the nirvana the place mind condition free of defilements the higher five defilements was sang sang yojana you yeah can be obtained by aryaga aryaga savaka i mean i presume the next one is aryaga savaka aryaga savaka train themselves well the aryaga savaka has trained himself well and has followed instruction given by the lord buddha to get out of suffering <laughs> escape from the defilements being bringing them their minds closer to the nirvana Will the manner and should be honorable as all cost <clears throat> as all cost as stated in sangaguna chanting supadipanno bhagavato savaka sangho ujupadipanno bhagavato savaka sangho Nyaya Padipanno Bhagavato Savaka Sangho Samiji Padipanno Bhagavato Savaka Sangho Yadidam Chat 
Tari Puri Sayukani Adha Puri Sabukala Esa Bhagavato Sawaka Sangho Ahunayo Pahunayo Thakkinayo Anchali Karaniyo Anutaram Bunyaketam Logasati In Pali And this And the third one is Upachaya. Upachaya <coughs> is roughly translated as the originator. The originator is a, is a form of senior monk or fera in Pali. Fera in Pali. Upa, all Upachayas are masters. But not all masters are Upachaya. The Upachayas teach their disciplines how to live correctly as a monk. How to live correctly as a monk, including the Lord Buddha's Dharma. And therefore, they should be honorable, honorable to their disciples. And the next one is the king. <coughs> Every king abiding abiding ten kingly doctrines or does a does a bit Rajadharma in Pali does a bit Rajadharma or or kingship or kingship precepts or kingly precepts there are ten there are about ten precepts for the monarch for the monarchs the first one is dana giving and offering the second one is sila <coughs> Sila maintain manly, manly precepts. I mean five precepts. Or sometimes even eight. The third one is Parijaka. Parijaka sacrifice and donation. The fourth one is Arjawa. Straightforward and honesty. Straightforwardness and honesty. The fifth one is Madhava. Madhava. <coughs> Mildness. Mildness. The sixth one is the pa. Effort. To avoid evil action or sinful actions. Sinful action and exert effort to do that. So the seventh one is Agoda. <coughs> no. 
not to become angry. And an anger, I presume. The X one is a vihimsa. A vihimsa. Not causing suffering among the others. Or my beard being in Thai. The ninth one is Gandhi Kanti Tolerance. As against unpres unpresentness. The last one, the tenth, is a virodana. <coughs> Follow the the Lord Buddha's Dharma. The next one, the fifth one, amongst the honorables, is your teachers and masters. Your teachers and masters. <clears throat> what is yours and masters not only give you give you knowledge but also dharma or discipline to you and for you They hope you to live well. And you will be well, well. Like your parents. The next one, the sixth one, is the parents. The parents give you a birth. Birth as humans. And give you some discipline and discipline <coughs> look after you with money, food, etc. Undescribable. This is a crisis. Parents are right, Brahma, Aranta, Deva, angels. <clears throat> and the teacher to the children to the children they hope a few they do not require require paybacks They hope for servitude in their elderly. <coughs> Kill in their sickness. <coughs> and witness their death. To do some ceremony for them, sending them to the heaven or everywhere they choose suit for the afterlife. There are two characteristics of of paying homage to the honorables. Or homageables. Paying homage with the body is the body, for the example, perform Anjali Mudra. And the second one is her and taking homage with your mind. Is 
F face. F face in them. I mean in the honorables. Honorables <coughs> do not irritate them and obey the discipline, the doctrine, I mean. And another context is um, is a puja take home this objects and pati pati puja is take home by obeying the doctrine right and this is all about honoring the honorables or taking homage to the homageables and this is all of this chapter the honorables are the Lord Buddha the Arya Savaka or Oh, the wise monks, the upachaya, or oh, ordainer, the masters, the dhammarajas, or the good monarchs, your parents, and your teachers. These are the person are the people that you should take home mate. See you next time.